Hey you, so on this video with spot price about to tank big time, just going to be going over current spot price talk, you know I've done a few videos in the past, I'd say a few weeks talking on um, spot price tanking and here we are today, you know, had public opinion on, it was just a, a real group um, thought and opinion on what people thought it was going to be doing, I had the, you know, the rate hikes and the Fed and a lot of other things to take into account. So we'll be going over that in this video. So if you like what you hear, slash C, please do go ahead and subscribe. And also let me know your thoughts and opinions on what you think is currently happening with the spot price. Because I've done a video, as mentioned, past three weeks or so, saying that it was going to take a massive tank in. And people in the comments believed it wouldn't, would be going up from here. And as with a lot of the things, and just even with the climate as a whole, the, the entire economy, it, it really has a mind of its own. So, you know, for me, one, it's just been one of those things, you know, as I get, get into showing these sets in the background, where I think looking at the global economy and where we are, whether it's Brexit, whether it's impeachment, whether it's proxy war, whether it's small wars whether it's what happened to venezuela greece and i think the we just seem to be puddling on you know and um, there's a lot of markets i'm involved in right now i would love for them to just absolutely poop their pants and give a fantastic buying opportunity as i show off the sets that i just got out here i was, I was inspecting some sets and yeah just quickly bump in i was off all last week guys um i've got a real hectic schedule just for the, the old festive seasons so couldn't really get nothing going on last week but hopefully that was it, it shouldn't be any harder to maneuver around what's going on but yeah so just very very you know just the, 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 the global mindset seems to be nonchalant this people just seem to be getting on there's there's hard times going on there's even talks of uk banks i don't know if it was spam i'm in a couple of groups where people send me messages about metro bank any uk people let me know about if you've heard anything about that and it, it just is what it is you know from my whole mindset i just seem to see it as people are just struggling right now and the last thing they want to worry about. I mean, if you say the word recession, I, I guess it only applies to a certain type of person right now. And that's going to be somebody of worth or that has something to lose. A lot of other people, it's just, you know, it's no different than saying Brexit, for instance, or impeachment, or it just seems to be one big circus that yes, we are a part of. And yes, we are stacking and making sure all of us watching this video and those that know, uh, which are, you know, protecting themselves with hedges and insurance and gold and silver notice. But for me, looking at it, I can see many trigger points that should have started the dominoes falling, but it doesn't seem to be the case, i.e. the title of this video. Um, I saw spot price currently around now, usually looking at previous years, this is when we usually get our dips, you know, but there's been a lot happening, even with the whole Brexit scenario and the upcoming and even regarding Brexit, I mean, we a lot of people seem to have thought they needed to do a purchase order before, well, that's if we got a no deal. But I highly doubt things would be brought to such an abrupt stop, you know, where it's just literally, if they slammed on the brakes and you got whiplash, it wouldn't be the case. I mean, we'd get a winding down, cooling down period of a good anywhere from two to five years. So looking at it as a whole, the only thing I can take from it, and this is why I say will spot be coming down, is I see it dipping down again to lows. Now, to date, spot has never been as low as when I first started stacking. Let me take a look at this. I believe that's the one ounce proof tiger. It's never been as low, and that's an opportunity I would love to see again. Can it go back that low? Markets right now, and remember, for, for, for metals to look bad, and real bad, their markets have to look good, i.e. the stock markets and all the other virtual paper Ponzi schemes they've got going on. Can they do that? I think anything's possible right now. Absolutely anything and everything is possible. Will they do it? Yes. Can they keep it going on? Yes. I, I Once upon a time, I thought they couldn't. And, you know, printing money and people cared. People just don't care. That's, that's what I've walked away from this understanding. A lot of people, they just don't care. They just want their way of life. They just want to be able to pay their bills. If they've got bills, they just want to be able to get by. You know, the last thing they need is these uber stresses, these Brexits, these 
impeachments, these recessions, these I don't know what's going on. These people have massive struggles going on out there. And I think if any market's going to tank or even with a few, I've got a friend into a certain crypto and it recently really blew up. And he was the only one that was, you know, doing the whole hoo-ha because he was the only one involved in it. And it was interesting just looking at the people around us and around him even that it was just another day, you know, and at the moment he's really rolling in it. And for everybody else, it's just another day in the office, you know. And I think currently that's where the whole global mindset is. You need one of the big, big boys to really take off. And I've done a video before stating what do you think that would be? Do you think you're going to see a massive spot price i.e a 3k gold you know uh 30 dollar 25 dollar silver you know take something that big a btc touching you know fifteen thousand dollars plus or 20k plus what's it going to be first i have a rough idea what i believe it's going to be first but that will also switch on a lot of people that are currently switched off because a lot of people are just burnt out from what i can tell and People are just sitting on the sidelines, you know, there's, there's, there doesn't seem to be too much going on <coughs> in terms of what's going to be happening. A lot of the markets are poised to do well. If you're somebody that looks at the charts and sees how well things are doing, you know, I've heard talk on both, basically on silver, gold and Bitcoin, you know, BTC as a whole, that now is a good time to be, you know, scooping up especially on the Bitcoin, because we've got a massive spike coming. I heard the same things for gold and silver. Do I think we're going to see anything in the metals personally? I think we're still another 12 months away before we see anything, even on the last little rally we had where it was doing very well. And I'm glad I did liquidate some. I still want a, a lower price to get back in, but it's, it's, it's for me personally where I am right now. It, nothing's been purchased. Will I be doing another big purchase before the end of the year? We're going to have to wait and see. I still think it's a fantastic time for anybody that's just got into it to start accumulating. I, I always say this. Prices ain't insane. I think they're just right. Um, prices, I don't think, will be going any lower, i.e. into the single digits, whether you're talking pounds or dollars. Anything is possible. Just if I was to, you know, off the top of my head say that, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. I think we're at a very crucial point where... A lot of things just really ain't taking the impact that you would have thought they would. So it leaves me scratching my head to some degree, looking at the whole global economy, thinking what is going on? You know, you have this crazy housing situation with a lot of people where, you know, cost of living costs a lot more than what anybody and everybody's making. If you wasn't one of the fortunate to secure property when it wasn't really a rat race it was just doing it for the sake of doing it i know a few that got into it and reluctantly got into it but you know it's been a, a lifesaver well then you know it is what it is there once again so it's like crazy looking at the entire situation but i'm not going to be doing no purchases myself anytime soon for this year i've got a few things um bubbled up with a few potential We'll have to see how that works out, i.e. unboxings and stuff like that. As we take a look at these Pied Fort round pound coins and silver, which they're no longer producing. But I think spot price, it can, it, well, and technically I look at it like we're going sideways here because it's not low enough to really, you know, tickle my fancy and get my juices flowing. And it's not doing anything where, at least when we've had the recent spike of in the past three months at the release of this video, you was able to take advantage of that, of that if you wanted to. You know, I don't know what really brought that up on, you know, many before it would have been the whole Brexit thing. I didn't believe it was going to be going through with Brexit. Um, I don't think any change in party, whether Conservatives talking UK politics or Labour, is going to do anything in terms of, I still think the whole Brexit deal is going to get prolonged even then. So I don't think we'll be seeing anything at the beginning of the year. So once again, it's just one of those things where you take a look at the entire thing as a whole and see so many problems still happening on the outside, i.e., you know, there's still people not being able to afford property. There's still people going through tight situations. There's still many people getting laid off. I know a lot of people that are getting laid off. The uncertainty has a lot of businesses shutting up shop, if you can see this. Pied four pound here, very chunky monkey this piece is. 
And so we're just at a stalemate as a whole. And, you know, it'd be fantastic if something popped off, but I don't have too much faith in metals. But the ultimate thing here is, as we must all understand and know, and many do comment, it's not an, an investment opportunity um, I would put first. You know, if you're going to put it on a list of five, you'd definitely put the investment opportunity as the, the fifth, the last, when you're talking about metals here. You want to get into it for the right reasons, you know. Does it really... If you put, for instance, 10K into it, does it hold the 10K fine? Depending on what you put it into, gold or silver, it's, you're not going to be tanking and losing big time. You know, the swings ain't too intense currently. I don't think we're going to be seeing anything in terms of massive dips. So, you know, a hedge, you know, savings account, you know, one of those types of things. Looking at it from that perspective, then you should be okay. But I personally think... We're not going to be seeing a massive dip. We're going to be staying sideways, i.e. where we are right now. But we're not going to be seeing anything big anytime soon. That's my own personal thoughts and opinions. I'll be jumping back on. I have seen all the hype that's going on with the um, reverse proof American coin. I've been asked a lot about that. It's been covered more than enough. I think there's fantastic opportunities there. I am seeing more of the dealers come to their senses. And now um, when they're releasing newer um, collect their coins. They're not so insane and greedy on asking price. I think they've really jammed themselves into a corner there. I'm seeing a lot of the Royal Mint stuff technically sell out, but then not sell out, you know, the whole in and out. I think the whole, just going over everything as a whole here, them hiking the prices up really did stuff the secondary seller. Because, you know, on, on eBay, I'm seeing a lot of the coins now being sold for a loss. And that, I think that's what the Royal Mint done. They done typical what a lot of the other mints were doing. So they looked at the coins, looked at what was going on on the secondary market and thought we can afford or we can increase the price. This is what they're paying on the secondary market. So they technically wiped out the secondary market seller, which is a good or a bad thing, you know, depending on who you ask. But all these things ultimately slow down them being able to sell further coins at a later date. So here we are again, and I only see this as a course of action that they take when times are hard, or it could be extreme greed, you know, I, I highly doubt a lot of these mints are hurting. But you know, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. Guys, got a whole load of videos preloaded and ready to go, so we're back to the usual schedule. But once again, let me know your thoughts and opinions on whether you think spot price is going to be tanking or where you think it's going to be from here. And what are you currently doing right now? Are you buying or are you holding fit or are you absolutely out of metals and everything altogether? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on all the matters that I brought up in this video guys so I'm going to wrap this one up so once again please do go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll catch you guys in the rebound